Hello friends, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. Tech and Training Corporate Solutions is an IT as well as soft skills training company. As you all know that it is my passion to create these kind of productive videos which revolves around computer productivity or mobile productivity. When I say mobile productivity or computer productivity, I mean to say is if you are doing a particular stuff, if it is complicated, then we must find out a way which makes it simple. And if you are doing something simple, there must be a way to make it even more simpler because there's always a better way. So from that perspective, let me tell you the context of this video. In this video, we are going to talk about how do you transfer a web page from a mobile phone to a laptop or computer and from computer or laptop to a mobile phone. Let me give you a situation. In this situation, let's take an example. I'm going through a very important article on a web, but it's a little long. So I'm more comfortable viewing the same website on my laptop. How do I transfer this website link from mobile phone to laptop? Similarly, let's take an example that I'm watching an article or looking at any video on my laptop, but for some reason I have to move out and I would be more comfortable now watching it on the way. So I would like that link to be transferred from my laptop to my cell phone. So friends, let's understand how do we transfer a website from mobile to laptop and back to mobile. Let's take a look. So friends, I'm excited to share the steps to share the web page. But before that, may I request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, do press the bell icon, which is not visible here, but you will find it right here. Do not forget to like, comment and share. Thank you. So friends, let's understand the situation that I would like to share this website link to my mobile phone. What I've seen people doing is they copy this link to their email and send it to themselves and then open it from uh, any other device like mobile phone or tablet. But let's take an example. I would like to directly open this link without sending it to myself. How do we do that? In that case, the steps are extremely simple. For this, so you need to have Google Chrome browser on your laptop as well as your cell phone. So if you have it on your laptop, you simply need to click on these three dots, then click on settings. When you click on settings, it will ask you sign in to Chrome. I'm clicking on sign in and it'll ask you the authentication key. So now I'm going to sign on to my account using cell phone. Now, since I'm logged in, you will see that it is now trying to sync it. So I click on got it. I have added extra layer of security that uh, the sync will require some passphrase. So I am putting in the password. Now after I sign in, now everything that is available on Chrome browser is going to be synced. So I generally click on sync everything, but just in case if you're not comfortable syncing everything, make sure that you at least have these two tabs uh, enable that is history as well as open tab. You will have to do the similar thing on your cell phone as well. So let's take a look at the cell phone. So friends on this mobile phone, also I have to do the same steps once again. I'll click on these three dots. I click on settings. Then it asks me to sign into Chrome. I'll use the proper account. I click on continue. Okay, got it. And now this will ask me for passphrase again like i said earlier i have added extra layer of security so it is asking me for passphrase so i'm entering my passphrase after i key in the correct passphrase now it'll ask me what do i want to think so i select think everything but just in case if you're not comfortable thinking everything then you must select these two options history as well as open tab now i would recommend that you go ahead and select think all because that syncs everything and you get the same experience across devices. Now, let us take an example. This particular website is to be opened on my laptop. Yeah. So the website is GES 2018 and I would like this website to be opened on my laptop. Let's move on to laptop now. So friends, here is my laptop screen and I would like to see the website which I have recently opened on my cell phone. So in order to open that, I'll simply click on these three dots and then I will go to the option that says history and here you can see the history which 
uh, was uh, open on my cell phone. So this is my cell phone and this is the recent website that I was accessing on my mobile phone. So I click on it and you see the website has quickly opened up. Now let us take an example. I have this website. I was watching this video of how to secretly check WhatsApp messages without changing last name. That's a fantastic thing. But I'm in a hurry and I would like to check this video on my cell phone. So let's see how do we check on cell phone. So friends, let's see how do we open a website which was opened on laptop to a mobile phone. In order to do that, I'll click once again on those three dots and click on recent tabs. I can see my recent tabs which I have opened on my cell phone as well as recent tabs which are opened on my laptop. So I'll simply click on how to secretly uh, check WhatsApp messages video which is there on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can definitely watch it, uh, the details are given uh, in the description below. So I click over here and open that video. So I open it and play it. Hello. So friends, this way you can transfer the web links from your mobile phone to laptop as well as from laptop to mobile phone. I hope you have liked this video and uh, just a simple request, please do like, comment, share and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. These things help me uh, keep motivated to keep creating these kind of videos and share it with your people. So hope to see you in the next video. Uh, the next video I'm going to publish is on Power BI. Power BI is the latest tool which will help you to uh, manage huge data and it helps you to do reporting easily. If you have worked on Tableau or QuickView, then you must watch the next video as well. Till then, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.